In our last project, uh, working on our interior upholstery, we had uh, finished some interior panels for the doors. We installed all these new mounting bolts or mounting uh, uh, brackets there. We also made a header and a lower cowling uh, kick panels and we wrapped them with fabric. So that was in our last video. Originally in 1930, uh, uh, Model A pickup trucks did not have anything back here around the, the back window. Uh, we look at this area here, normally it was just painted. Uh, we wanted a little more finished look to it, so we decided to, uh, to either make some panels and wrap them with fabric for this area, or another idea is to just apply the fabric directly to the sheet metal. So also in this project, we're also going to be making a header for overhead header. Now this is, looks, this looks great, but for a more finished look, we're going to make a panel back here on top, wrap that with fabric, install a dome light for it, which you know the truck didn't originally have, uh, and then wrap that with a with a nice fabric. So that's going to give us a more finished look. But today we're going to concentrate on this area here behind the seat, and and wrap that with a coordinating fabric. The fabric we're going to use is is this material here that we purchased at Walmart. It's really nice fabric. It's lighter uh, than what we used on the door panels, but then the area is so dark back there around that back window that this will definitely lighten it up. Also, we're gonna use uh, some padding. This isn't very thick, it's very thin actually. It's about an eighth of an inch. But it's gonna give us a little bit more uh, depth to the fabric, and overall just a nice softer uh, look than just applying the fabric directly to the, to the metal. Okay, so to get started, the first thing we have to do is to mask off this back window because I'm going to be spraying a, uh, a, a spray adhesive from DuPont and I don't want to get any of that on the glass. We also removed the seat and the back seat to give us access and a little bit easier working uh, area uh, to the project. The adhesive we're going to use is this 3M Super 77. This is really fantastic stuff for uh, applying fabric to just about anything. Uh, the key is to just put a nice even layer uh, on both sides if you have it and, um, and, and then uh, wait a few seconds for it to tack up and then smooth out your material. What I really like about this, this spray is that uh, if you make a mistake and you need to pull something back, you know, because you have a kink in your fabric, you can easily pull it off and then reposition it and put it back on again without any, any problem whatsoever. So this is really a great product for this. So the first step what we're going to do is we're going to spray this back area with the adhesive. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Start back here. Put a generous amount of adhesive here. go almost there back here in the corner okay we're gonna let this tack up for about 10 seconds or so the next step is uh, we already pre-cut our felt for the back we're gonna take this felt and apply it over our, our adhesive later on we're gonna use a razor blade and just cut around the window with it Okay, so once we had the back of this cap sprayed with the adhesive, I laid the padding down and trimmed it all around the cap. Okay, and on top of this, we're going to spray some more of this adhesive, and then 
we're going to lay our fabric and then trim the fabric around it. Okay, so I pre-cut my fabric to approximately the size that I wanted. Now, I didn't trim anything around the window on here. I'll do that as, uh, as I'm going along. Once I get the fabric there on, on top of uh, my uh, surface, then I'll start trimming and moving, uh, moving around the window. Okay, so I, I placed my fabric starting from the top there around the window and I'm going to start trimming around it and working my way from the middle outwards. Now what I really love about this, uh, this adhesive here is that I only sprayed the area around the window for right now. Didn't do anything here. And this will give me some time to start working my way in this way. So I'm gonna, when I get to this spot, I'm gonna put some more adhesive and then work my way out. Okay, so here you can see that I started to trim around the window, working my way down. Now, the, one of the things I want to point out is when you're trimming around the window here, give yourself a little bit extra. You could always trim that extra later, but then you're not short. Okay, so here we are. We're still moving along, working my way around the window, trimming as I'm going along, pushing and pulling, you know, adding a little bit more uh, spray adhesive as needed and then working my way to the, uh, to the sides. Okay, so as you can see, I started to trim around this corner and just take your time and, and trim around all the pieces. Okay, next I'm going to wrap this, uh, this bottom of the fabric around this wood because that part also shows um, above the seat. So I'm going to wrap that around. Now I'm personally not worried if I have a few little uh, tufted wrinkles there. I can later on I can spread them out um, with uh, you know a little bit of steam or a little iron to iron them out because it is fabric after all. Uh, but some of this, most of this is going to be covered up anyway. Most importantly just take your time and go around the window, trim your pieces and, uh, and you'll get there. Okay so this is our finished product with the seat back. I think it definitely uh, brightens up that back area. And when we get in now, this I think is much brighter. Now there's one thing that I need to do still around here is I'm going to put in a seal all the way around this back end area. There's about a half an inch of space and I'm going to put a probably a half inch rubber hose as a kind of a seal around this and it'll give it a nice finished look. But other than that, it's not perfect, but that's the fun part of this truck project is that uh, we get to play around and have fun with the stuff. So the next project is going to be this headliner. Here uh, we're going to install a uh, dome light and a liner with the same color. Thanks for watching.